dear subscribers for our last subscriber box this year in December you're in for a real treat I'm super excited I need to drink some coffee to focus Beautiful. so number one every subscriber of the barn subscription in December is receiving an exclusive pin from the Department of Virology this um, uh, little uh, coffee branch here with is a reminder that a, a coffee plant has ripe cherries and unripe cherries and we need to hand pick them to get the flavor into our coffees so this we wear with pride every subscriber will find a little exclusive bin from the department of virology in their delivery in december coffees um, we have decided that both the espresso subscribers and filter subscribers are both getting our christmas coffee this is the time of the year where you want to have our Christmas coffee um, or holiday coffee, if you will. Um, our Christmas coffee traditionally is from Rwanda, Hue Mountain, one of the best farms in Rwanda, hands down. This is the best washed lot from this farm. As you know, we have a very close relationship with David, the owner, and uh, he has been a key part of the development of specialty coffee in Rwanda and it was very important for this country especially after the genocide in 1994 to rebuild and to focus on quality and a purpose. Um, Hue Mountain washed tastes like milk chocolate. It has nice spicy notes, raisins and a little bit of orange peel. We found that really interesting so almost like a Jaffa cake if you know those. The one with the chocolate outside and with the orange inside and very biscuity. We love this coffee. It's an omni roast so you can uh, brew it up for espresso or for filter. It's very versatile. So, we're mounted. Um, the filter subscribers are getting a beautiful new release of Daterra in Brazil called Sandro. And yes, of course, with a little sticker, we won the best specialty roaster in Europe and Middle East a couple of weeks ago. We are super proud here. The whole team is excited that we got acknowledged for all the work. And thank you also for your votes. Sandra, though, even better, uh, dried on the coffee plant, which is a technique, if you will, that people are using uh, in coffee producing countries, usually at the end of the harvest. They call it buni in Africa. They leave the cherries on and then they pick it and dry it and use it for local consumption. If done well, and Daterra is an expert in that field, um, you can leave them on the, on, on the tree all through the harvest and then pick them in the end, process them well, and you get these amazing flavors in your cup. It's a very clean and balanced cup, surprising for natural. It has caramel notes, fruit, so very kind of like plummy flavor, and a little bit of jasmine. So here, really, a Brazilian coffee with a lot of complexity. I love it. Um, the espresso subscribers are getting a coffee that, again, is very close to my heart. This is Los Acuna from uh, here goes my Spanish from uh, Costa Rica. Um, this family farm is all the family members are involved in producing coffee. It's very, very close to their hearts to be environmental friendly, so they are not using any water in the production and processing of their coffees. So all their coffees are naturals or black honeys, and that's good for the environment, but it also tastes amazing. This has very sticky honey taste, very bold cup. We love it. We call it guava and manuka honey. Now, not everybody uh, is familiar with manuka honey. It's a very, very special honey that comes from New Zealand. And uh, it's a little bit kind of space, spicy, um, black flavored honey type. So here, very bold, very rich, very sweet cup. So you have amazing coffees coming your direction. You got this exclusive bin that David from Department of Virology designed just for the barn in your bag. And uh, I think there is no better way of saying thank you for your uh, loyalty and for um, ordering or being a subscriber and ordering our coffee. Uh, we are very happy to roast for you and we keep giving you the best um, lots and latest releases that we have. It was a fantastic year for us. and. Uh, uh, I hope you have a, a very nice uh, Christmas time and I see you soon. Thank you.